And that's why, you know, I know we want to joke around, and I'm someone who loves to joke around, yeah. but we want to take a moment to just say, you know, there's value, people. Your life matters, you know. Yeah. If you're going through stuff and you feel like, you know, you can't go anymore, find help. But uh -huh. ending your life is not the solution. It's never going to be a solution, Absolutely. you know. Let's talk about it. Let's converse. Be honest with people. Find people who care about you yeah. and can and will not judge you because sometimes we feel like, you know, yo, if I tell you I'm having suicidal thoughts, you're going to be like, oh, chill. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. No, no, yeah, find somebody that can yeah. be like, Help you get through it. You'll have the breakthrough. Exactly. All right. Welcome to episode two of the I'm Down TV podcast and YouTube channel. TV, we're on TV channel. Now? Oh, we are I'm Down TV now. You know, right? And every actually, we have to change that now. And everything now. I'm no, down but TV. you said TV. We're not on TV. I don't even have cable yet. Bruh. Well, technically, if we're on YouTube. It's like TV. All right. You know, guys, we're trying to learn to get more brief, less for distracted. Sure. For sure. So today. You know what I want to talk about today, George? I want to talk about identity. Identity. Let the people know why. Okay. So, you know, I, I was thinking about something the other day. You know how you go to school in first Wait, wait. You know what? Time out. I'm sorry to cut you off. Yeah. But first off, um, I kind of want to start off by saying something very important, right? So, yeah, we are going to hit tonight on the topic um, that we decided to title the first day of school, mm -hmm. first and foremost. And in no way, shape, or form are we professionals in anything relating to um, psychology or mental health. So do not take what we say as a definite. Yeah, definite thing. Take it with a grain of salt. Yes, we're um, just here to have a discussion that it may help you if you may be going through right. these problems or not. So you know, it's a, it's just a, a important topic that I feel like a lot of us. Um, in any minority group might avoid but mm -hmm. I know that for sure like in the Latino black uh, group we definitely avoid the topic of um, seeing a therapist or you know just talking about feelings especially as men so um, like he said take it with the grin of salt and honestly I guess a side note would be real men can admit they need help that should be the real way we approach things you know real is What's real people if you have to fake it? Yeah, exactly. But you can't be sure. real if you're hiding something. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, so let's admit we're struggling, but let's find a solution, if the, you know, and just keep forward, keep getting better. But yeah, so the reason I'm telling you is the first day of school, right? Think about it. You know, the first day of school, every day, you always, every class, no matter. Name, introduce who you are, right? And I thought that when we got to college, things would change. And finally, I'm done with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you're like, I'm with, I'm with adults now. And I get to class and it's like, all right, get up, introduce yourself. Yeah. Man. And I would hear all of us give the same answer. I don't blame you because I get the same answer. It's like, hi, I'm Chris and I'm studying such and such. Mm -hmm. And uh, so tell us about yourself. I, I just did. You know, so we often define ourselves by what we were doing. So right. then like, that brought me my question. It's like, are we only what we do? Right, right. Which is, and, and you know, I was thinking about that when you first brought that up, right? Um, that's, it's very interesting because, you know, if you're a college student, especially you're a college student, you definitely go to an every class. I was actually thinking about that because it's very true. Not in every class, but in, mm -hmm. you know, the classes that they go to, that was the question, right? It was either tell us a little bit about yourself or tell us who you are. And you're absolutely right. We, we aren't necessarily defined by what we do. You know, some of us, um, depending on, you know, what life choices we decided to take, or maybe we're just not in this current time, we're not at the position that we want to be doesn't necessarily define you as who you are. You know, what you do because you're an accountant or a clerk or a nurse or whatever, whether you're important or not important in society's mm -hmm. eyes, definitely shouldn't define you as, you know, what you are. Uh, you know, and, and the thing is, we, we kind of just pursue that vicious cycle of I am what I do. You know, I was, I was giving you an example before we even started recording. Is I find it hilarious. No offense to you, I promise. I don't mean offense. But it, people who post... People, <laughs> no, I promise, no offense, no offense. This is, it, it, I find their music. People who say things like, uh, you know, in their bios of whatever social media account they got going on, mother of, right? And so my question has always been like, so who were you before you were a mother? Did you were, were you nobody before you were the mother or right. such? You know, and your kids are blessings and they're amazing and I believe that they're gonna change the world. So I have no problem with your kids. Don't take it out on me. You know, you know. We, yeah, we'll mess with kids. We'll mess with kids. You know, we love the kids. This is for the future. Yeah, but um, the idea is, 
You know, so who were you before? Yeah. yeah are we defined by like, things like right. that? And it is, is, you know, that's a very deep question. I think that we all, even if you ask yourself, right, you know, with this topic, it deals with, with really anybody from any age group. You know, you could be a teenager right now watching this. And, you know, I remember being in high school, right? And you kind of do little things to fit in and, you know, whatnot. Like, and, and we have, like, names for every clique. Yeah, we do. Sneakerheads, Sneakerheads. and we have goths, and we have emos, and we have this, and we have that. And it's like, we identify them already. Yeah. We already put labels on people. Yeah, absolutely. And and that's, you know, it's funny, Um, and not to get too much off topic, but that, that, um, I don't know, what, what's it called in India? A, a caste? Oh, the caste system. The caste, the caste system, system, right? Wait, wait, well, yeah, that's crazy. Essentially, that caste system that's, you know, placed in high school transcends to the real world also. You know what I mean? Like, it, it really does, you know, so depending on how you look, you know, what you look like, how you act, you know, you're defined as this, you know, and... I think the most important thing is that we don't listen to what people have to say about us. It's what we know about ourselves and what we have to say about ourselves. Because if ultimately, it has to do with your own self-esteem, your own confidence. Oh, definitely. And, and, and I think, you know, it's obvious that some confidence has to come from the outside. You know, we always talk about the, the question of nurture and nature, yeah, yeah, for sure. you know. And so, depending on your environment, it depends. If, so, people... Obviously, you know, they don't feel like they're good enough because they didn't have an environment where they supported their vision, they supported their dreams, you right, know. Right. They always heard, you know, you will never amount to anything. But I think it's important that every person, including ourselves, are reminded that our value has to be intrinsic, right? Because if our value has is given by other people, then it can also be taken away by other people. For sure. And yeah, you are no you're you're no less I can't be yeah. any less because you don't value me. Yeah, yeah. You get me? And we, we see even in this world nation, which is the, the greatest nation in the world, it's like your suicide rate is so high, which is crazy. You know, because I know you want to address mental health, and, and obviously I don't, I don't plan to have all the answers. Yeah. But it's crazy because we, we're a nation of prosperity, a nation of, of the richest nation, right, and right. whatnot. You know, sure, it has a lot of issues, like every other Absolutely. nation. And, you know, doesn't make it perfect. But it's like you know, we would think we'd be better in this, yeah. right? But we have often the idea, the media, culture, and, and ourselves, we label people and we give them an identity that you know. It's not true, and because they hear so often, and we engrave it, people start believing it. Uh-huh. And, and so, you, yeah, point. exactly. Like you, you don't fit in, so you're not good enough, or you're an outsider, or you're this, or you're that. Uh-huh. And then we question, you know, how how is it that people commit suicide, or how is it people th- yeah. go through all these things? Yeah. You know, it, 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 you know that, that it's true, but that's that's a real topic, you know. And and that topic is is I feel it's very sensitive and it's very tailored to individuals, you know, because so like for for. Somebody like, you know, you and me, right, that we might have just a regular conversation talking about, like, a celebrity, right? Mm-hmm. One thing that might come out is like, oh, well, they're rich, you know, what do they need to, you know, be sad about or be suicidal mm-hmm. about, right? But, you know, recently, Bow Wow was on The Breakfast Club, and he talked about how, for him, he felt that, like, that he had accomplished everything he had to, and that suicide was an option for him at one point, you know? And it's crazy to think... It was think, no longer a purpose. Yeah, right? exactly. It's no longer a purpose. It's like, oh, I did everything I had to do. And, you know, it's, it's, that's that's insane, you know, when you think about it. It's like... like. But I think if we go back to that. Like, we tend to put pressure on people, you know? For example, like, I get it. You, They're millionaires, you know, and they have influence, mm-hmm. right? So we we should, in a way, you know, ha- expect higher for them because people follow them. Yeah. But, you know, at the end of the day, human beings, you know, we talk about one of the people that we both look up to, you know, it might not be the the social consensus right now at this moment. Yeah, it's yeah. Kanye West. It's a yay. But, yay. you know, I miss graduation Kanye, to be honest with you guys. I miss him. I'm praying for yes. him because we need that Kanye back. Because right now we got <laughs> yay versus the people. Which, you know, in, in so th- this is where I'm conflicted with yay right now, right? Because, so Kanye, I feel there's two sides of the coin for him, right? So, yes, there are some things that he said, specifically on TMZ, right? Oh. That kind of shattered everybody, especially in the black community. Like, people were very hurt because... they have a reason to be. Yes, because he said slavery was a choice, which is... I mean, <laughs> no, it's not a choice. But he definitely brought up some valid points. And, and I think, you know, especially with, with the way we believe this show can do is... Look, we, we don't agree with that, clear, but it has to spark conversation in people. You know, and Kanye has always had the gift that he's always been, and I mean this as a compliment, crazy enough to go and say what nobody else would. You know, and you don't have to agree with him, but the beauty of conversation is 
Now let me give him a point of view. Mm-hmm. You know, but we cannot put the pressure in him because he was talking about the pressure in that, in that interview with Charlemagne. Yeah, yeah. He was talking you about know, how he would feel the pressure and, and no and he said no, it wasn't a breakdown, it was a breakthrough. It was a breakthrough. But at the, the beginning of that word, he still break. Yeah. So they had to come to a point where he felt like he snapped. He snapped, yeah. Definitely. And you get me? And we're seeing it with, with so many people of influence, so many people in, in high position. Prince. Prince. Prince was a cultural phenomenon. Still is. Influence to the max in every area of music. If you guys think Prince only influ- influenced a certain area, you know, do your research. So many people from areas are influenced by Prince. But you know, having so much value and so much influence... He still feel the need, you know, to to have that type of presence and so many yeah. because there's so much pressure on people yeah. that they snap, which is it, it does, and that that in in essence does like definitely kill you. So it's it's okay. I don't know. What <laughs> you're right. me. I'm gonna explain to you guys why I'm laughing. <laughs> so I, we have we have I a good friend of ours. His name is Julian, and he oh yes 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 yes. But you know that's a different. I don't know if you know who that is. I have no idea. So they just sold us um, Avicii, right? Yeah, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Avicii. Avicii is uh, EDM, you know, electronic dance music. One of the biggest stars. I think he was 26 years old. And, uh, you know, I, I don't feel comfortable talking. I don't want to sound disrespectful. But at such a young age, a millionaire, amazing, musically talented. And everybody who met him said he was an amazing friend, amazing person. But he felt the need to say, I can't take it anymore. You know? And, and that's somebody who is a young person, has the whole life ahead of them. So, that's why I worry, and that's why, you know, I know we want to joke around, and I'm someone who loves to joke around, yeah. but we want to take a moment to just say, you know, there's value in people, your life matters, you know, yeah. if you're going through stuff and you feel like, you know, you can't go anymore, find help, but mm-hmm. ending your life is not the solution, it's never going to be the solution, Absolutely. you know, let's talk about it, let's conversate, be honest with people, find people who care about you, yeah. and can, and will not judge you, because sometimes we feel like, you know, yo, if I tell you I'm having suicidal thoughts, you're going to be like, oh, chill. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. No, no, yeah, find almost, somebody that can yeah. be like, help you get through it, you know, have the breakthrough. Exactly. The, it, it, you know, that's that's important because that's exactly what we're trying to do here, right? So, mm-hmm. like, I was mm-hmm. I was just telling Chris earlier, like, you know, it's it's back in line, right? So, yeah, definitely, like, you know, the whole breakthrough is, is, is just a very important thing. But, you know, us starting this is not for likes, it's, not, it's for awareness, you know, to try to bring that message of I'm down to any topic, to any situation, you know, to inspire, motivate, but also to help, you know what I mean? So And I'm down to live my life yes. to the end, yes. you know, like, you know, yes. there's, because, uh, honestly, let's be honest, suicide is not the answer, um, and you leave pain behind, uh-huh. you know, it might end your pain, but you're causing so much other pain, and your life matters, you might think, oh, nobody cares, there is, I, can, I can bet my money. I have a little bit, man. I'm an overdrive right now, but, you know. But but I, I can. This guy. I can't really be more serious. Yeah, I'm probably. Yeah. I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying. on overdrive. Okay, that's that's a but, good topic. Right? But uh, that's we're gonna get to. We'll that extend this to yeah. some donations if you know you feel it in your heart. We'll start a GoFundMe. I can buy them GoFundMe. I'm just saying I'm broke. Hashtag I'm just saying I'm broke. Um, but no, you know the idea is. Scream, shout, yell, do what you gotta do. Yeah. But you are gonna get through, Absolutely. you know. Absolutely. And and we can't let society define us. We can't let the pressures of being somebody. Because I under, look. If I can be honest with you guys for a moment, I struggle with identity in the sense of you know, I have an accent. Obviously, I wasn't raised here. I wasn't born here. I, I came here knowing English, but because I wasn't raised here, you know, it wasn't my first language. So I picked up the Spanish. You mix it up. I remember that I struggled with saying the word three till I was like seven. Cause I would say I, I I would get stuck with three and three, uh, and I would say clee, clee. Like I would get I would, my, it was stuck in my tongue. Yeah. And so you know that created me the insecurity of maybe I wasn't good enough. Yeah, and so you know absolutely. you gotta realize that just because you feel that way doesn't mean it's true. Absolutely. You you have value. You have purpose. Right. Yes. yes. I mean, and you know that that and that's another thing. You know, um, for us to be able to connect with you guys, it is. It is um, better for us to share these stories with you anyways, right? Because all of us at one point in time always deal with some form of trying to fit in and trying to find our way, right? Because it just happens in, in every single scenario and every single scene that we go through, right? So it is, it is you know, something that we all have to bring awareness to because this this whole topic of, you know, 
identity really does become a self-esteem problem those self-esteem problems become a mental issue later on you know mm -hmm. like literally like you know you can't think of yourself a certain way and you don't you know shine the way you should because you know the thoughts you have in your mind like i just saw a movie recently um i feel pretty so i was telling chris when i saw the movie that the movie itself is not about the movie or nothing but it's about the message the movie brought right the message is basically a, a girl who is full full of herself in the way that oh I, i'm not pretty enough i don't look like this girl i don't look like that girl and she basically bumps her head right um trying to like do cycling so basically on the road of trying to be you know prettier and in her mind when she wakes up she's the most beautifulest thing ever but nothing physically from her changed it's just her mindset wow so that's deep it, yeah and it was it was you breakthrough. know what exactly a breakthrough because watching the movie she ex like she showed an example of what it was to be like this social butterfly like you know when she thought she was his most beautifulest thing ever the things she said, you know, that she exalted with confidence mm -hmm. and how she moved changed her entire life completely, you know, because she thought of herself a certain way. So, yeah, we do find validation when somebody tells us, oh, you look good or, you know, you're fresh or whatever the case may be. But at the end of the day, we need to validate ourselves. We cannot be looking for validation in other people. You know, that's, <laughs> yeah, that, that's one of the biggest things that you're going to deal with as a young lady, as a young man. In high school, in middle school, as an in old college, person. yes, as in in any in any phase of your life, you're gonna deal with that. So if you yourself, even if you look ridiculous to other people, you should say, "Oh, I'm fresh," or "I'm I'm sexy," and I'm no, you have to. Is that LeBron? The, the, <laughs> I don't I don't know what he does. I don't, I don't mess with LeBron. But the point is, you know, yeah. you should definitely de <laughs> definitely you know. Find validation in yourself because that's the important thing. It's not about what other people are going to say and think about you. You know, it's where your mindset is at. That is everything in this world. That's the game. Mindset is the game. Yeah. And, and I think it's important to understand that there's only one of you. So you are the only one that can bring yes. you. Yes. You get me? Because if Definitely. all of us were the same, we'd be stuck. Because we need this kind of... You know, some of the biggest influencers in the world historic, historically were the people who didn't fit in. Were the people who said, no, 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 I see how the world is, but I also see how it could be. And when you choose to say, I'm down, you're saying, I see how I can be. I see how I can influence. You know, one of my favorite quotes ever is, be the, be the role model, be the leader that you needed when you were younger. Yes, yo, that's, that's, that's... You know what I'm saying? So, if you needed somebody to tell you, hey, you're important, how about you go and tell somebody... You're important. And so I, George was doing something that, that I look up to. You know, George is one of my heroes. He's younger than I am, but he's one of my heroes. Real talk. We're going to have a little moment right now. Just, but, but, <laughs> but real talk. You know, and he was telling me, hey, we want to shout out in our in our Instagram. People who are getting up and doing their stuff. You know, and, and we shouted out somebody this week. You know, what was their it hashtag? Was, it was um Lewis. Lewis is a good friend Lewis. of ours. Yeah. But what was his, his Instagram? You guys go uh, follow him. His Instagram is, I believe, it's Team Us underscore L S. If I'm not mistaken. We'll put it in our description. We'll put it on the video. Yeah. Um, you know, but the reason we're saying that is because we're shouting you out to go out and be you. You know, the world needs you. They don't need another somebody else. Right, live out that life, live out those experiences, yeah. you know. But make sure your identity is, is certain. Like just was saying, it's not in what you do or what you don't do. Because the problem with that is, if your identity becomes your successes, and that line of thinking, it also becomes your failures. Yes. So yeah, your successes, you know, you're a Grammy Award, whatever, and this and that. And I love when Kanye said that. You know that there's that one Grammy winner. But then there's four of us that have to go back and say we lost. Yes, yes. And that that was and he's dope. So, and he was, was like, so honest about yeah. it. You know, it, it's like it messes with you. It does, it does. Cause it's it's so true. Like you know, he yeah he said he said yo it's one winner and then four of us are losers and we have to go to dinner together and it's like damn we lost. Like you do have to live with that. And, so. and basically you you know and it's natural as humans to say you know I'm not good enough. Yeah, it is. You know, and, and, these are, and so and that's what we gotta get to the point is that money ain't everything, because mm -hmm. money can give you value, but it does not give you value. Definitely, definitely, yeah. And then, you know, a lot of people are gonna talk about you know, yes, money can do a lot for you, and it's necessary, right, to live your life, right? It costs, you know, for air, water, to do all of this, it costs money, right? Like it costs money. So we're not saying that, oh, don't go chasing money, you know, no, no, no. we're not so saying that. So the good is for real. <laughs> <laughs> for real. So if you're willing to get that donation, 
wholeheartedly, please do so. But um, but look, man, we kind of want to leave you guys with this, basically, right? So, it's to don't be afraid, you know, to reach out to a friend. If you're a new viewer, listener, and you need somebody to talk to, don't be afraid to reach out to the channel. You know, leave a comment if you don't want it to be, you know, uh, DM, public, if you want DM it to us. Be, yeah. yeah, you know, we can have a conversation. Absolutely, you know, interact with us. Tell us what you think. You know. And we'll be more than glad to interact with you, have a conversation with you, you know, because at the end of the day, everybody needs somebody. And if we can be that beacon for you, then absolutely, right? We'll, we're more than open to And, and you said it. Uh, we don't pretend to have all the answers. We do believe communication is the right step towards the answer. So, you know, if you say you guys got it all wrong, we want to hear it right because we want to be corrected too. You know, we are students. We're not leaders. We're not, not we're students. We don't know it all. The only thing we know is that we don't know. Yes. So, you know, if we're wrong, if we're right, if, if something hit, if something didn't hit, subscribe, comment, let us know. Uh, you have our private accounts, you can DM us. You know, Chris, you're an idiot, but George, you had a good point. You know, <laughs> but you also have the channel's account, you know. Yeah. And if you believe this can help somebody, you know, the message, our message is your life matters. There's an identity in you. And don't worry, George was talking about money. We have another episode coming out this week. Yes. And it's going to be a little more fun, a little more uplifting, yeah. and a lot more com uh, what is corruptive. It? corruptive. Definitely <laughs> corruptive. You know? So, so the uh, idea about that is you have a sometimes in tears, but you definitely have a screaming too. Definitely. So sure. I think we'll close it out there, right? Yeah, we'll close it out there. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. Um, Like Chris said, like, subscribe, share this with somebody that you think needs it. And we appreciate your support. Peace. Take it easy.